Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing. Today I'm coming to you with um, my I Am Grateful journal and we're going to be adding some more embell embellishments. I did do some off camera so I'll be showing those to you as well um, as we move through the journal. So I've made some notes in the journal on some pages. I've inserted some, pe some bits to work on with you on camera. So um, there will probably be another video where we'll do some finishing touches and then we'll do a flip through. So in the last video we went ahead and put the elastic um, in our little um, binding here. Uh, we glued it, we um, glued the elastic, what you used eyelets, <laughs> and glued this piece of paper onto the spine. So that worked out really, really well. I'm really happy with it. I love how it opens like this. Um, it's very, very chunky, so it's not going to take much more, um, but it's not yet a gator mouth. So as you can see, we've got three inches and we've got three signatures. It worked really, really well. So I have to minimize my bulk from here on out because otherwise we're going we're gonna to have a disaster. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, start moving through the journal. I made some notes here, as you can see. So um, I had used a vintage um, teddy bear book and I cut out some of the images so we're going to use those. I just thought he would be really cute on this front cover here. So we're going to, the front inside cover, excuse me. So we're going to go ahead and glue him on and I'm going to make it a pocket. I'm not going to focus on putting something in every pocket just because that's something that I can do as I go through and use the journal. So I'm going to use my art glitter glue here and I apologize that's going to probably be in the way. It's a little bit bulky, but we're going to go ahead and, and put this on. If I can get the art glitter glue to work here. I seem to be rebelling again. Let me just fix that really quick. Whoops. Really happy with how this journal is turning out, though. Oh my gosh. It is just epic. I tell you, like, I can't even believe putting all the ephemera in and how how it looks like when you create the ephemera it's super fun but but putting it in the journal is just like the icing on the cake so I just thought I'd use a bit more of that uh, handmade paper from my neighbor since we are nearing the end of this and I think I'm going to put a little a little thumb notch on here just so that we can see that it's a pocket I'm going to try to work around this bulk here under my hand but I'm so excited to be nearing the end of this journal because I'm anxious to get going on some Christmas stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be cool. So, again, I'm trying to, um, I'm wondering if I should just move the camera up a little bit. Sorry, guys. And true confessions of a um, perfectionistic creator, I always clean my space before I do another project and today I did not. I just cleaned the area that you can see. So um, trying that out just to see how it feels. Hopefully it won't feel too um, chaotic for me. That's generally what happens but I'm hoping that I can just roll with that and be okay with it. I'm not going to keep you too long today. Just thought I'd show you um, the little added bits that I'm going to do here in the journal on camera and if I find that there's just too much I want to do I'll do another video um, and prep all that stuff so that we can work on it together in the next video so I love that I love that pocket because this journal is my I am grateful journal it's my own personal journal that I'll be using from year to year so this one this will stay with it um, which I kind of liked because the signatures will come out and they'll get packed away in my keepsakes but this pocket will stay and I just love this little bear. He reminds me of somebody. So I'm super excited about that. So that is that uh, front cover. And then over here we have, um, you know what? I wonder if we should take, this is the whole idea guys, right? Is we can take the signatures out. So let me take this first. Let me show you on camera how that works, I guess. So because there it's held in with elastic binding and my binding is right here in the middle of this signature. I'm going to go ahead and just pull the signature out because it will make it easier on camera to work on it with you guys. So I didn't think about that. One of the perks of doing the elastic binding. So there you can see what that looks like. It worked out really well. I'm really happy with, um, with the results of that. So, so now we've got a little bit smaller stuff here to deal with. 
<clears throat> so again, I did prep some stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and just pull that off. And I've got a little, I just um, have one of the little, <laughs> I don't know what these are called, they're a little like a pocket. Um, and I went ahead and already inked it just to save time. So we're going to go ahead and glue it closed here. So let's do that. And then I, I did, I do realize it's the same print as the page, but I kind of wanted that look uh, this time because it's still, you can see it's a separate piece and I kind of liked that. And I'm just going to kind of put it in this corner and I'm going to only glue the, um, the, these two sides so that I can create a pocket. So <laughs> you don't get all turned around here. Hope you guys are doing okay. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here. Or Saturday afternoon, I guess now. I've been in the studio all day, all morning. It is, um, I'm, I'm filming ahead, so it's actually the Saturday before Halloween. So I don't really go out in public during this time. I just really kind of stay close to home and enjoy the things at home that I like because I don't like Halloween. So I'm just going to put that in there, make sure that we've got all of our room there. And then we've got our tuck here if we want to use that later. And um, I've got a little tag that I can stick in here. So I'm going to put some Sorry Silk on the top of that. So let me just, I cut kind of a long piece, but that's okay. And I have to be careful because this is the kind of stuff that bulks up the journal is this Sorry Silk and lace and things. So I didn't put in, I'm not putting in as much lace in this journal as I would normally. I'm going to move the camera, guys. I feel like I'm you're so far away so let's just cut that off hoping I won't get too distracted by the absolute chaos that's around me but it's all the stuff from the kid it's all the bits that I've picked out so I wanted to just keep it out so I can grab so I like that simple and then we can put a card here let's see if we've got something that we can just stick there right now um, since we're here this would be lovely because it's kind of nondescript it doesn't have um, any coffee dye paper on the back, but um, that's okay. I didn't. I don't have all of these aren't double printed. I must have missed doing the double printing before I started doing my fussy cutting. So, because I always cut the kit, I print it more than once and cut it. So, I'm just going to ink the edges here. It's white, which is okay because we got lots of white and light, and that's sometimes kind of nice too. So. I'm just gonna we're just gonna kind of decide as we go along what we want to add here but that can go there nice and simple and then I have this little um, again I don't have a lot of my own uh, vintage ephemera I'm collecting but I don't have a lot so and I do want to scan the stuff that I've recently acquired so I don't want to use it yet sorry my hands are dry uh, so I don't want to use it yet because I don't I want to be able to make copies of it so I've got this bit and it looks like I wanted um, to add a tag, a little bit of lace and a button perhaps. So we will just grab the buttons also. It needs to be a fairly flat button because I don't want to bulk up this journal any more than it already is. But we're going to glue this on the two sides and create a tuck spot. Uh, some of these pages I'm going to leave blank because they're great writing spaces. And if you've missed any of the other videos, you can, um, whoops, yeah, <laughs> you can head on over to the playlist for the I Am Grateful journal, and you can catch up on all of the ephemera that we made on camera and all that stuff. So we've got that on, and I wanted to put a little piece of this lace, which is, is being used throughout the journal because I just adore it. I do need to trim a, just a tad bit off of this edge. I kind of did a rough cut just as I was preparing. So let's see. Oh, I got to move some stuff. <laughs> I have no elbow room. If you guys saw this, you'd be laughing because of all I say about, oh, you know, my studio is always organized, which it is. But I'm like, oh, it's okay to, it's okay to give it a try from time to time. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just put some glue here just on this bottom portion. And it's only gonna, it's only the width of this card, so I'm good to just do that. I am gonna bring it up a little bit here so that it's kind of 
like so. And then I'm going to use my paper towel to pat it down. This is, um, again, lace that's throughout the journal, so I just kind of wanted to continue that. Looks like I'm a little bit... Um, I'm a little bit wide over here, but I need to probably wait for that to dry. So I'm going to just go ahead and be okay with that for now. And then let's see if we can, um, and I'm just pulling journal cards from the kit because, again, I need to minimize the bulk. And this stuff is um, fairly, um, it's not very thick. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take this little mini book and fold it in half. Um, I want lots and lots of journaling space in this because this is uh, my gratitude journal and I am so excited to use it. It's been hard to not use it while I'm, while I'm making it, but I'm very excited about it. I've never kept a gratitude journal. I mentioned that in another video. I actually um, bumped into a journal that an old therapist had given me um, probably back in like 1998 or something like that, so a long time ago wasn't a recent journal and she made she wrote a personal note in it you know wishing me the best because I was um, she was going to have a baby and I she had to kind of move on so um so she wrote this sweet note in there and and talked about gratitude and I never used the journal it doesn't have a single pen mark in it and I, I didn't want to use it because it's it's old and I, I thought I'm just gonna make something for myself that I would really really enjoy so let me see if I can clip this now because it's bothering me. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can trim that off without cutting the paper. That would be bad. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to go ahead and stick this card in there just loosely because that still needs to dry. So there's that. And then I'm going to leave that just because some, sometimes it's nice to have something that's just visually pleasing. But I do want to think I want to put something on here. So I pulled out some clusters that I had created um, just over time, just um, from paper scraps and stuff. So I've got this one I thought would be really pretty because it's not very bulky and it could sit kind of right on that edge. The only thing I don't like with that is if it hangs over, it looks weird. So I think I'm going to put it all the way on and then maybe I'll leave it open so it can kind of be a, um, a tuck spot. So I always get confused about this. So I want this edge and this edge. So I'm easily confused right now, guys. It's not my it's not my keenest time of the year, so I get a little bit scattered. But that's okay. There we go. So that'll be cute. Add a little bit of because I didn't really want to cover up all that beautiful music page. And it's not gonna bulk it up, which is good, because I cannot have any more bulk in this journal so basically when I create these I just I just pull my scraps and just start putting them together just gluing them and then this one I had this um, vintage this is one of the ones I had this is a vintage piece that I got from an antique shop so I just inked the edges and I just stuck it in the pocket here but I wanted to put a little piece of lace on the edge of this pocket and probably will use the lace I've been using, which is this beautiful stuff that's behind me. Let me grab it. Um, I went and got three more yards because I really wanted this to be in this journal. And I think I want it like that so that, sorry if you can't see that very well, because I want it to kind of hang out. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to put, let me cut it first because that was a little tricky to try to cut it once it was glued. So I'll just clip that there and then I can cut it, hopefully semi-straight. Okay, like so, yes. So we're gonna go ahead and glue. I'm gonna cover up that stitching, but you know, sometimes that happens and it's okay. I didn't do a lot of sewing on pockets and things like that in this journal. Um, I have some, but not as much as I've done in the past on some other ones, um, but I did stitch a lot on the pages when I put the signatures in, or when I created them. So we're gonna just put that on there like so. You can still see that stitching. It's kind of cool. And I'm just gonna press that. Like so. I have to be careful because we don't want that to um, we don't want that to stick any, to anything, so we're going to kind of hang out here for a second. 
I think while that is drying, I'm gonna pull something out in the back here that we can work on while that's drying. So I have this piece of lace, which is also lace that I'm using in the journal, and I'm gonna make one of those bookmarks. Um, I've seen um, some folks do it, so super simple. We're just gonna fold this piece of lace over, and then we're gonna put this little, um, this little, I don't know what they call it, it's a clasp of some kind. We're gonna try to get it in the center here. And then we're gonna go ahead and, oh, I need to reach behind me and get my tool. Sorry guys, I didn't prepare for this. Okay, I had most of the stuff out, so we're just gonna give that a squeeze. Hopefully that's not, I haven't done these before, so. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's not exactly even, but as far as uh, from side to side, but oh, it just came out. Maybe I have to put a little bit of glue in there. Oh, can I bend that back out? Ooh, goodness gracious. wonder what I did with the rest of these. Um, try that again. Try that again. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of glue here so that we don't have that problem again. And let me see if I can still get this one. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that one back on because it's already crimped. So I'm gonna try this again and get that on there. And then hopefully that will be better. Oh, I just crimped it with my fingers. That worked out pretty pretty well. So I have to pause here and find where I stashed these other little clasps. I always put things in safe places and then I can't find them later. So let's see what we did with those. I apologize. There they are. <laughs> Got this little glass bowl. So um, I'll put a dangle or something on this later, but right now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just make the bookmark kind of thing real quick. So we're gonna trim this edge off here. That's uneven. And we're gonna do the same. So I'm going to grab another gold one. And then we're gonna put a little bit of glue on here, Fabri-Tac. I'm looking forward to making a bunch of these, um, just kind of generic ones for journals, probably for Christmas journals, because that's gonna be my next, next big thing. So I was able to crimp that with just my fingers. So I might just um, make sure it's nice and tight by just using my little pliers here. Probably should do that on the other end. Um, this is nice because you're not adding any bulk, or virtually no bulk to the journal. So, so this will go back in that spot in the back. So hopefully we can move on here. Yeah, that's nice and dry. So sorry if I'm moving a little bit quick. I'm just gonna leave that like it is. Actually, let's see if we can find a word here. How about um, write? Let's put a little sentiment there just to have a little bit of prompt. Where do we want to put it? Should we put it right there? Well, I don't want it to go over that. Let's see, let's put a let's let me get a little cluster here. I've got time to do that. So when I'm doing that, I like to take the big piece and I just cut off this scalloped edge, and then I cut off the other scalloped edge. I use those somewhere else, but not at this point. And then I'm just going to cut this in a little strip so that I can put my, my word on it just to create a little bit of a cluster. Whoops, that was the wrong, the wrong end. I'm not sure what happened there. So we're going to do that and let's see if we want anything else. I think I want another piece of something underneath it. Um, do we want another piece of something underneath it? Where'd my word go? <laughs> Silly girl. I don't like that. Hmm. Maybe we'll put it on her. That would be work. That would work. So let's do that. Come on. A little piece of that lace there just creates a, some fun interest behind the word so a little mini collaging just put that 
on there. I like that. And then we're going to stick that back in the pocket. It's a little fragile, so I'm trying to be careful. I'm leaving this blank. Um, actually, I might put a... No, I can't because I've got the belly band. So here, I put we glued the belly band in um, on the last video, but I just grabbed a couple of journal cards and stuck them in here from the kit. And then here, um, I glued this. This is another journal card from the kit, and I just glued it on the two sides, and then I just took a piece of coffee dyed paper, and I stamped this, In Your Darkest Moments, Let Beauty Find Its Way, and I'm just stuck, sticking that in there. I'm leaving this also for writing on. And then here I've got another one of those um, little bear uh, images. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I'm debating on whether or not I want to make it. I think I want to just make it a pocket. I was going to bump it up here, but I want to see that stitching. So let's go ahead and um, let's make a, a, um, a thumb notch here on the top just so we can tell that that's what it is. Ooh, flying paper. Um, it doesn't really ink up all that well um, because of the color of the paper, so I'm not going to worry about it. So we're going to go ahead and glue that on three sides. This long side and the bottom and then the other side. There we go. That in. I liked that it was right next to this other one, our little little cheerleader bears. As I talked about, I don't uh, I don't like the um, Halloween colors. I don't like the orange and black at all. So I'm really trying to trying to use it a little bit, but not be super like concerned about it. I'll probably put a tag in here later. Uh, maybe I'll make some, but I don't. It's a fairly deep pocket, so it really is going to need its own tag. So here we've got a little corner corner pocket that I um, pulled out from the kit. It's normally supposed to go um, this way. Oh, it actually might be better that way, but I don't want to lose the words. I think that's why I decided on that. So even though, as you can see this design, this pumpkin is not upside down, but this one is. So I just wanted to tell you that that's the way the kit is made. The papers are made. It's not, um, it's not anything that that I'm doing. So... Um, it's actually kind of nice because you don't have to worry about the direction on everything all the time. So it's versatile. So let's go ahead and put this pocket here. It does kind of look funny that that they are all, most of them on this particular pocket are upside down. I guess if the pocket was going the other way, it would be less, less obvious. But we're just going to put that on there and then we're going to... Um, let's see if we can find a little tag to put in there. So I've got some just ready-made here. Just got to ink it up. I still really struggled with bulk in this journal, so I'm just not great. <laughs> I'm not great at it, but I'm also, you know, brand new to this process, so give myself a little bit of grace to learn. It's just hard to stop putting, you know, the, the bulkier stuff in the journal because it's just so fun. And in the previous video, I was trying to use the journaling cards that I had made out of um, the uh, collage master board using the scraps from the kit. And um, I was able to use them as a journaling, a journaling spot. I only have one piece that I was not able to use and it's because I had a thumb notch in it, I believe. I didn't use it so and then in this one I can stick other paper in there later when I'm using it if I choose to so there we go so let's see what else we've got going on here so this is one of the journaling cards I was able to um, get in this pocket so that was good and then we have this pocket here so um, I'm gonna go ahead and glue her on the um, the two sides I really really love that I think I want to round this one corner here really quick though. Like so, and we're gonna glue her down. I think she looked really pretty. 
This is from one of the My Porch prints. I think it's the Vintage Children's. I can't, I always get the title mixed up. I'm not sure why, but um, I'll try to remember to link it. Um, if I don't, please don't hesitate to ask. I try to remember, but it's a lot of stuff to remember when you're trying to get it uploaded and all that. Oh, that was the wrong way. Okay, that was silly. Well, <laughs> let's go ahead and, um, goodness gracious, Renee, all that talk and you still did it wrong. I'm going to go ahead and do that corner too. And then we're just going to reverse this. It's just going to glue to this. Oh, that's not going to work. Doggone it. What was I thinking? Let me wipe this off. Oh, for goodness sakes. <laughs> Sometimes too much talking, not enough paying attention. So just give that a second to dry. And then maybe we'll just make a pocket out of her now that I've rounded both of those. Um, except I wanted the lace. So I think I am gonna bump her back up over here. So I want this side and this side. So this side and this side, <laughs> talking to myself. silliness. Good thing we can laugh at ourselves, right? How boring life would be if we couldn't kind of take ourselves lightly. There we go. So this is a, um, these are called journaling spots and they're from uh, Pink Monarch prints and I love them because they come in all different sizes and they are just an instant journaling spot. I do double print them, so it's got some tea stained, pa tea stained paper on the back as well. So I'm just inking that up really quick. Like so, we're gonna stick, whoops, whoa, everything's falling over. Got too much stuff on the desk. And stick that in there. And then I think I had something else I wanted to put in there but I don't see it read readily here, but I do want to put on some lace. So I'm thinking I want to put lace on this whole edge. Um, do we, or do we want to put it across the bottom? No. There. No. Shall we put it just across the, the bottom? I mean the side rather. Yeah, I think I want to do that because again, I really want this lace. It's it makes me happy and this journal is is for me. So I am going to do what is pleasing to my eye so that it will really um, encourage me to use it a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. I'm going to come about that far. So let's go ahead and just put some fabric tack down here. Oops, move that. I'm gonna kind of, it's gonna change the size of our little tuck here, but that's okay. It's not gonna be too bad. There we go. I just love the lace. It makes me happy, so do what makes you happy, especially if you're making it for yourself. You know, obviously, if you're, you know, commissioned to make a piece, you would want to do it per the person's request and their likes, but um, this is my journal, so, oops, we didn't quite come to the end there. Let's see if I can move that a little bit. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect, though, guys. That's the beauty of it. So, there we go. That's going to be sticky for a bit, so... I'm just going to, um, hopefully this journal card will, um, will not get affected there. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is cut a little bit off of the bottom because I think now it's just a little bit too, whoops, the width was the problem, not the height. Yikes. <laughs> oh my goodness. We'll just do that. And uh, let's just let that dry for a bit. So we can do that while we work on this one. So this is a um, belly band or a page wrap. I think it's got a line down the middle. So I'm thinking it might be a page wrap, but I'm gonna use it as a belly band because it's nice and simple. 
So we're going to do that. So I'm just going to glue the top edge and the bottom edge. Get that in there. I do have my little dangle there that might be affected by, um, by this, but we can tuck things in that will fit this on this side. So that's still wet, so we need to, I need to trim that off. It's gonna make me crazy. I don't want it to rub up against that lace because then it, it'll affect the integrity of moving it, being able to move it inside and out. So we're just gonna trim a sliver off of each side. Help that process out. Stick that back in. I'm thankful that Fabri-Tac dries pretty pretty fast, so I think we're what I'll do is I'm just gonna put something. Let me see if I can find one of these bags that's just doesn't have anything in it right now, and see if I can just put it here, just to guard that, so I don't get any the pages don't stick together. We do need a couple of things in here. Just again, low profile, not too bulky. So I've. I went ahead and already inked this one, so I think we'll stick that little butterfly in there. It's pretty sweet. And then let's see what else we've got here. And then we've got a journaling card that's already also, um, it's got coffee dyed paper on the back, or coffee dyed digital, rather. Let's ink that up. Put that in there. And... Should we get, should we do one more? We've got room for one more. Let's do this one. Got to use up the kit too. I print so much and then I don't use it. Not that I wouldn't come back to it at another time, but this time around. There we go. Yeah, that's good. So we've got that. So let's turn this and then I've got this. This is a piece of ephemera from the kit. I went ahead. Um, this is another... Oh, this is from Nostalgic Graphic Land, I believe. Um, and these are just these little cards. And when I um, reorganized some of the smaller ephemera, I moved it to where I would see it and I used it. So I just tore a piece of coffee dyed paper and I'm gonna stick that in there. So let's go ahead and glue this on. We're just gonna glue it to this kind of down here at the bottom, kind of create a, um, a corner tuck so we're going to glue this side and this side so I'm going to just do that like so we're going to put that down I want to make sure that it, the integrity of the edge is not going to be a problem here so because it's right on the edge of the page there so I'm just making sure I've got a little bit of room over here on this side. Oh, I didn't ink that. Doggone it, we gotta ink it. Seriously, Renee? <laughs> oh, Lordy, well now we know where it goes. I didn't sleep very well last night, so I'm, I'm running on fumes. Hopefully I can catch up tonight. I don't sleep very good in the fall, so let's try that again. It's better than it used to be. I used to be like I couldn't sleep at all, and I had nightmares and anxiety and just all that stuff, pain. I don't have that, so I'm grateful for that, but it's still difficult. I like that that dangle ended up being there. Uh, my little, with all this green in this image, is really pretty. I'm gonna grab my paper towel just so I can kind of push that down. I really want those little points to be secured like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and stick this back in. We've got plenty of room, so I'm not concerned about um, about sticking that back in while the glue is still wet. So on this one, I've got this little. Um, I've got this little, this is from the scripture scraps from uh, My Porch Prints, and this is um, the, the page that has this um, vintage music page. So I, I'm already prepared this, but I'm going to stick it in. I'm going to put a little bit of lace on here. 
I want lace on this edge, so I'm going to have to trim it. I did not pre-trim, so let me even this edge out, then we can see what we need to cut off the other edge. This lace does add bulk, but, you know, like I said, it makes me happy, so I'm doing it. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and add some Fabri-Tac. Let me put something there so I don't get... I need something, something. Hold on. Find something I can put under here real quick. We're just going to glue that to this edge. I may only have one more video because I want to make a dangle that's a themed kind of dangle. Not themed, but a dangle, uh, like a spine dangle. But it's not going to go on the spine because I tried to do that in the other video. But because the spine is made out of really thick and heavy bookboard, and then it's got the other chipboard that I use to create my base for my elastic uh, binding. It's just way too thick. It would, would not work. So there's that. I think I want to put a button on there. Not sure why, but see if we've got a, a kind of flattish button here. Oh, that's a pretty one. It's not very flattish though. I don't know how I'm going to get it out. Uh, let's see. Not very flat though. It's really pretty though. Let's see if we can find another one. I don't really want anything that dark. Probably not the best way to store these buttons, but they look pretty. So let's try this one. I like that. Yeah, I like that. It's a little bit thick, but we'll deal with it. I'm going to put a little bit of this lace underneath it just to create some more interest under it. Kind of like so, actually. Like that. What do you think? That's a little bit big. Let's trim that down a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Kind of looks a little bit weird. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll save this button for another place in the journal because I think I did have another another uh, thing I wanted to do. It might look really pretty over here though. Oh yeah, right here. I'm glad I waited. Make sure we're not sticking together here. So I'm going to put a little bit of Fabri-Tac here. Actually, I'm going to use my P6000. This is what I use to attach the base plate to the spine for the elastic uh, inserts. So I'm just going to put some on the back of here. I think this will be better than other things. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to put that button right there. <coughs> oh, we're oozing out. Something stuck in my throat. There we go. It's really oozing, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. Okay, so we've got that. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with this. I might come back and do something here. It feels a little bit plain, but we'll see what I think as we move along. So I'm going to go ahead and move this paper. Well, maybe I'll leave it in so that we don't get any glue. This is already done, so we're at the end of this signature. So I did... Um, we did on camera finish this one, I think in the last one, or maybe we did not. I think we did, but I inserted this little a card. This is from one of my porch prints as well, and then another piece of that um, journaling spot paper. Uh, we do need something for this pocket, so let's see if we've got a journaling card that would work there. <clears throat> it gets fairly repetitious at this point because I've used so much of the kit, but okay so let's see what we've got here we've got that one would be pretty maybe we'll put two in this one these are not uh, coffee dye backed apparently this must have been the first time I printed the kit and I 
I must have forgot to run it back through the printer. My printer does not flip them. I have to take the papers out and then put them back in, which is fine. I'm just going to cut the corners on these. We're almost done today. I'm not. I'm just going to work on this signature, and then if I need to, if I want to bring you along for any of the other uh, signatures, we'll do that. But I think we're going to be done for today. I might just see if I've got a place to put one of these corner huggers that I have over here that I've made previously, not for this journal, but I'm thinking that they'll probably work. So just putting that in that little pocket. I might come back and, and put some coffee dye paper on the back of all these white ones. I don't really like the white, but we'll see. Slide that over and share the spot like so. And that is it. So um, let's see if we've got one place for one of these corner huggers. Maybe here they're just so adorable it's hard to it's hard to say no right oh this is just a cluster so that won't work that's gonna add too much bulk I think this was the only one that I had pulled out that I thought might work for this journal so let's see if we've got a place that it can go it has to be a page on the right just because of the way the it is designed so it might be really oh it won't go there because of that and It won't go there because of that pocket. <laughs> and I don't think it would go there very well because it'll cover up our bear. And then we might have to put it in a different signature. So I will do that probably off camera. I think I will let you go today just for the sake of time. Um, I think um, the only other video I'll do is I'll, I want to do a, a dangle. I want to do one of those long ones with lots of ribbon and stuff in it. And then probably some spine dangles, uh, some dangles to go off of the threads, off the wax thread um, that's at the bottom of each of the signatures. So um, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.